everyone, and welcome back to the Cabral Concept. I'm Stephen Cabral, board certified naturopathic doctor. I'm so excited to have you with me here today on our Weight Loss and Wellness Wednesday show. I have a special guest today, Kimmy Bohaman. Please let me know if I pronounced that last name incorrectly. You got it. I got it. Okay. She is the founder of the Weekly Juicery and the Juice Ritual, which I'm excited to bring you today. She has three stores in Lexington, Louisville, Kentucky, and then another one. Where is the last one? Cincinnati, Ohio. In Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And literally, so what I'm trying to do right now in 2018 is bring you some of the best in the best. So I'm going to find people who are literally, I would say, revolutionizing their industry in the health and fitness and also, of course, the nutrition anti-aging based world. And so what Kimmy does is she brings people the highest quality, not a good quality, not the best quality, but the very best quality juices in the world. And I met her last September at a seminar. We really hit it off because what she did was she actually sponsored one of the breaks and she provided everybody with what I would consider, like I said, the best quality juices in the world. Once I actually tasted them and I saw the ingredients, I know right away if if this is the real deal or not. I mean, I work in in the formulation for nutritional supplements and for juices. And so I said, okay, these are the best possible ingredients. This tastes super fresh. And I know it was flown out here. So how did you do that? And then I actually got introduced to you and I could see your passion. I knew you were the real deal. I know it's taken about six months to get you on, but I'm excited to have you today. Please give us a little bit more background and we'll get right into teaching people, I would say literally from soup to nuts, what they need to know about juicing to make sure that they're doing it right and they're not being scammed by a lot of these other companies. Thank you so much for having me and for that glowing recommendation and and talking about our juices. You're right. I'm really passionate about juice. It's why I wake up in the morning. It actually really changed my health trajectory. And that's, I think, fuels my passion. About 10 years ago, I started feeling like every day I maybe felt a little worse. I wasn't feeling better. I felt, wow, I'm, I'm only 34 years old. I should be feeling great. And I wasn't. I had young children and it was just really, I, I don't know. So I started, bought a book about juicing, started making it in my kitchen. And it was almost overnight. I mean, I felt better almost instantly. And one of the things I, I noticed right off the bat was how hard it was to make juice and how hard it, it just takes lots of produce and lots of space and the juice machine. And, and I thought, how many people could benefit from this that just won't because it's too hard to do? And how do I make it easy and convenient for lots of people to access? And so started making juice. Uh, people would come to my house and pick it up or I would deliver it for them. And that's how the weekly juicery got its sort of humble beginnings. That's amazing. And it's it's always great to hear the origin story of how people got started. And I just find so many people in the health space, they're in it for the right reasons. They're trying to first transform their own life. It's a necessity. You have to do it. And then since you feel so amazing, you need to share that with others. It's just like you can't just keep it for yourself. That's what I've always found. And then somehow, like, it just turns into a business, you know, which is great. I mean, because, again, you're doing it for the right reasons. So what I'd love to do first is just tell us what juicing is. Is it like buying apple juice or orange juice at the store? Because there's a lot of misconceptions. What is juicing and how do people essentially learn a little bit more about it? So teach us about that. Yeah, yeah, sure. So... You know, we all probably know orange juice. You know, when I talk about juice, that that's what most comes to mind for most people. Tropicana, you know, Minute Maid, what you buy in the grocery as juice, right? I, my parents gave it to me growing up. Most people just have a familiarity with that. And our process is similar to that in that we extract the juice from vegetables and fruit and we bottle it and then, you know, that's the way it goes. The difference between, say, like an orange juice that's pasteurized that you might find in a grocery shelf and our juices as sort of two or three key points. One, our juices are vegetable centric. We juice little to no fruit. And there's a reason for that. We could actually talk about that in a second. The second thing that's different is that our juice is raw and therefore, I'll use the term alive. The juice that is sold in a grocery store, whether that be now lots of vegetable juices, even in grocery stores, but Tropicana and or vegetable juices is they've been treated with a preservation technique, either pasteurization, which uses heat or high pressure processing, which uses pressure to destroy the microbial content or the microbial life in the juice. So it renders it shelf stable 
for some up to 30 days. Our juice has an expiration of 72 hours. So it's it's quite different. Uh, so those are the really key differences. We're also certified organic by the USDA, but you know, there are a few companies doing that too. But the key difference is no treatment to extend the shelf life and little to no fruit. Those two concepts are super important if you're going to drink juice. Super, super important. Yeah, I completely agree. There, there's a big difference when we say, you know, I'm going to go get grab a juice because a lot of the meetings that I do is, is you know, going to grab a juice rather than a coffee or a tea or one of right. those things. And the huge thing is that if you are starting your day with like an apple juice or you're starting your day with an orange juice, what most people are getting is just a very high glycemic spike because there's about 30 grams of sugar in that eight ounces or so. So what we're looking to do when we're talking about juicing, what we're trying to talk about is that we're putting a fruit or a vegetable, in our case, we're talking about vegetables, into something that squeezes that vegetable mm-hmm. and the juice comes out of it. So the fiber, the cellulose structure is left alone. That comes out the other side and what's left is the juice. Now, what we're getting from that juice are the vitamins, the minerals, the actual live enzymes that you talked about. That's right. so very, very important. So that's the benefit of juice. We're going to talk more about those benefits in just a moment. But now explain to people... What are the different types of juicers they could use if they wanted to juice at home? And the differences between, you know, so what I use is the Omega Vert single auger. So basically, it's a masticator. So you put in like celery and it crushes it. So it grinds it along this single auger, which is just basically a ball that squishes it around the side. And then out one side comes the, you know, the, the celery structure and the other side comes out the celery juice, carrots, you, you name it. And it's incredibly great at juicing greens, which not all of them are. But I want you to explain the differences uh, okay. and, and how they might benefit both people. Yeah, there's really two methods, popular methods of juice extraction. One is more appropriate and easy for home use. And I'll talk about that one first. And that's using something similar to a blender. It operates and extracts the juice using centrifugal force. So if you think about putting something in your blender, spinning it around, maybe making a smoothie that way, this juice machine for home using centrifugal force operates in that similar fashion. You put all the vegetables into the machine, it spins them around at really high speed, and out one side comes juice, and out the other side comes the pulp, just what you talked about. The benefits of doing or using a centrifugal machine is it's pretty easy. You throw everything in, you hit on, and away you go. The cleanup, of course, is not so easy. I've never found a juice machine that is easy to clean. And, you know, it, it, the process itself is somewhat messy. But that machine, to me, is the easiest to use. And I can actually give you the name of, of the one that I use at home if I'm going to make my juice at home. And it's the Breville JE98XL. It's about 150 bucks. It works well. It's the easiest. I'm not going to say easy. The easiest to clean. So that that's my spiel on centrifugal force. Lots of people use that at home, quick and easy. The thing to be concerned about or the thing to know if you're going to make your juice at home using a machine that operates with centrifugal force, the shelf life of that juice is much shorter. So I would say drink it instantly or shortly thereafter within the next, say, 12 to 24 hours. Why? Because the vegetable oxidation process starts quickly when we spit that spinning and that heat and the blade causes the vegetable enzyme to begin the oxidation process, which is just it begins to decompose. The second method of juice extraction, which is a a superior way of extracting juice, but much more difficult and time consuming, is using a cold press. And that's the machine that we use. It's, it's pretty large, actually really large. And what happens there is if you could imagine a really long tube and all the vegetables go down the very long tube, they're pressed individually. So instead of throwing romaine, kale, beet, carrot all in together, we do all of the romaine, then all of the kale, the ingredients are pressed individually. So the the produce goes down this long tube and at the end of the long tube is a rotating blade. So the vegetables pass through it once. Instead of spinning around with the blade lots of times as used with centrifugal machine, this is one time they pass through quickly 
And therefore, we hold off the oxidation process, if that makes sense. The pulp falls into a bag, and then very slowly, two large plates move together. And you should see how slow it goes. There's no high speed. It just really, really slowly moves together, and out the bottom comes the juice. That method is called cold pressing because there's no heat and next to no air that actually disrupts or begins the oxidation process. So we have a shelf life of 72 hours, which is much, much longer than the 12 to 24. Uh, So it takes longer. And they do make, as you described, they do make press machines for home use. But in my opinion, if you're going to be a home juicer, boy, those centrifugal machines just knock it out much faster. They do. You're right. And, you know, I'm <laughs> with most things in life, I'm like the purest. Like I have to yeah. have the thing that is yeah. like, OK, what's That's the right. best one to get? Let me let me yeah. get that one. Yeah. But, you know, you're, you're right. And, and so the, the tough thing is, and I'll be honest, it's hard to keep up with it at home. However, you can make the commitment. So I want to give people the recipes. And, yes. and the only reason is the cleanup. That's it. Buying the produce ahead of time keeping up with it at the grocery food store. But also, it's the thing is, it takes about 10 minutes to clean out that Omega Vert. What I'm going to do today is in the show notes, just go to stevencabral.com forward slash podcast. Look at today's show notes page. I'm going to link up the Revel that Kimmy's recommending. Yes. I'm going to link up the Omega Vert, which I've, I've linked up before in the past. Uh, we'll put so all sorts of links in there. We'll also give you some juice recipe recommendations yeah. as well. What I'd like to talk about next, because I'm a big juicer. Not a lot of people know that because I don't talk about it as often because I know that maybe it's out of the reach of a lot of other people. But today mm-hmm. we're going to share with them how to make it easy. So before we get to that, what I'd like to do is just really talk about what are some of the best recipes that we can use for juices and how I look at it and how I was really taught is that you want to have a base vegetable. Then you want to have maybe some greens and some superfoods. So what, I'm going to yes. share some of my favorites. Could you share some of yours? Yes. And I'm happy to give you guys my two favorite juice recipes. I drink them every day, just about. Uh, they're both best sellers at the Weekly Juicery. And like you, I want to give people the best way to do this, right? I, I wanna, I'm happy to share. Um, if you found a recipe on our website, we're happy to share it because I think it is such a life changer when you start making this for yourself at home and, and really committing to it. And so my favorite juice ever, probably will always be, is called Green Lemonade. And it's a whole head of romaine, 12 socks of kale, a cucumber, a lemon, and an inch of fresh ginger. That's my ultimate fave. My second fave is called Debo's Remedy, and it's a beet juice. So it has one to two beets, just depending on the size. It has a pound of juicing carrots. It has half a head of romaine, lemon, and ginger, and cayenne pepper, which gives it a warming feel. Even though the juice is cold, it's it's really beautiful. I think you might have tried that one, but it's really something else. So those are my two favorites. But to answer your, or to sort of talk on what you talked about, you do need to be thinking about, and you can experiment with lots of different recipe options, but what, what you want to think about is just what you described. And it's, think about a base. So a cucumber, as an example, is a nice base. It's going to give a good amount of juice and it's a nice vegetable to use as a base. Cucumber is in most of our juices. Then you want to sort of layer on what I call the heavy hitter. So the kale, the romaine, the beet, the carrot, some sort of heavy hitter. That's really something that you probably couldn't eat in that amount. So I sort of call it the heavy hitter of juice. You add that to your sort of base vegetable. Then you need to think about sort of the spices, if you will. And the spices that I think about for juice would be things like, even though they're not spices, I'm just making the example, would be lemon or lime. Those things are not going to be used in a high quantity. It's like spicing your food. You know, you've made this great juice. Now you're going to give it some kick. So lemon does a great job with that. Lime does a great job with that. Ginger, natural preservative for the juice. It is wonderful with greens. Tastes delicious. Those are sort of the spices or the end that we put in to really give it that little kick. Agreed. And, and I've actually, I've had, so a lot of people don't know this, but I'm a, I'm literally a pain customer. Every week I have juice delivered to me. I'm going to share some of that in a moment, but green lemonade, easily one of my favorite. The Debos, that's my favorite because I'm big on, for me, for my body, especially during the winter, that vitamin A from the carrot, a pound of carrots. I mean, you can't eat a pound of carrots. Right. When you get that raw, I mean, a pound of raw carrots, uh, right. to get that natural beta carotene, I think is phenomenal. 
I also love some of the superfoods, like adding in a little bit of turmeric or adding yes. in a little bit of uh, parsley or cilantro, which are naturally heavy metal, heavy metal chelators, meaning that if you have higher levels of aluminum and just environmental-based toxins as well, that's going to help pull it right out of the body, great for the liver. Some of my other favorites, again, you've already mentioned them, but ginger, you know, lemon and ginger, I love lime even more. Not a lot of people add lime to the uh, juices in general, but I love lime even more than lemon. So big fan of both of those. I'm going to actually share one of my daughter's favorites in a moment as well. But I want to know, like, on an average juice, how many pounds of vegetables are going into it? Two to three. And that would just depend on which juice it is, but it's a lot. It's more, you know, the way that I sort of describe it to people if they're trying to make an equation. If you go to a restaurant to have a salad, I make salads a lot at home. You guys probably do too. You can think about it might be fourth of a head of romaine if you're going to slice it up thinly that would actually be the base of your salad and would cover an entire plate, right? In one 16-ounce bottle of green lemonade, there is an entire head of romaine, all of it. And that's just part of it, right? So you can think about it in that way. An entire head of romaine in one bottle, in addition to the 12 to 14 stalks of kale, a whole cucumber, a lemon, and an inch of fresh ginger. So if you were going to eat that, how many plates would that be? Four to five, probably plates of salad in one bottle. Well, and that's the thing too, is that humans actually can't. So like a lot of people can't digest a big salad. And I work with people with... SIBO and candida overgrowth and Crohn's, colitis, IBS, and they just can't handle raw vegetables, but they can handle raw juice because they don't have to break down the cellulose and all of the structure of that. Because, you know, as humans, the big difference between us and like rumen based animals like a cow is they're eating grass all day, but they have multiple stomachs and they also regurgitate it, chew it up, swallow it back down. We don't right. do that, nor should we. So that's why, you know, I, I want to get into the benefits next, but just right off the bat is that you don't have to use all of that energy for digestion to now break down all the vegetables. We know we need a lot of vegetables. We know we need all the nutrients, which are the vitamins, the minerals, all the phytonutrients, the antioxidants from those things that really help to prevent cancer and a lot of disease. And I would say now even more than ever, and here's why, is that over the last 60 years, the soil has been depleted. So we're not getting as much of the vitamins and minerals even from organic food. So like, yes, there's less pesticides on organic, which is great, but it's still not as many minerals. So we actually need to consume more produce to get the same results. And that's why I just think that, you know, getting some juice, even if it is only a couple days a week into your life, I Uh. think is absolutely phenomenal. It's a game changer. And, and, you know, sometimes I'll work with people who try, as an example, green lemonade or one of our beet juices for the first time. And if you're somebody who's new to drinking green juice, the first few tastes are going to be different. But what I love to see is the transition. I've never met anybody who gave green lemonade a few tries. And what I'll say is that they bought three to four bottles, you know, and continued on the path that didn't come to love it and that it doesn't become their favorite. It's our best seller. It's a super green drink and it's our best seller. And for a good reason, it really goes a long way, I think, to redirect your taste buds. And once that transition happens, suddenly you don't look for dressing on your salad. Suddenly shaving raw beet on your salad makes it sweet. All of these nuances begin to come forth, uh, which are so positive for someone's health journey. Yeah, completely agree. And, and some of them do take a little longer to, to grow when you like Right now, right. I'm stri- trying to get to like straight s- celery juice. That one's a right. tough one. Straight yes, celery is. Is, is a little challenging. Um, it is. And we have a new juice called Plenty of Plants. It's brand new and it has no fruit in it. And it is green cabbage is the base. And it's actually delicious. It has chard. It has spinach. It has green cabbage. It's actually delicious. But it has an interesting smell. And I think celery is that way too. It just has an interesting smell to it. So we're, you know, I'm, I'm getting used to that one, but I love it. I want to talk about the benefits next of, of juicing. Really want to chat about that. So when we look at each individual plant, they're all great, right? But they have individual things they do. Like I talked about before, parsley, cilantro, great at getting heavy metals out of the body. Cabbage, amazing for healing ulcers in the stomach. Amazing for working on what's called phase two detoxification of the liver to help people clean the blood and to improve their overall like circulation and really get a lot of the toxins out of their body. So let's talk about though. So again, every plant has its own benefits. 
again, spinach, right? We think of spinach. What do we think of? Well, we're thinking about iron. We can get zinc in there, so we can get all those great things. Let's talk about overall benefits of juicing. I got into looking into juicing quite a number of years ago. Maybe it's around, I don't remember right now, maybe about eight years ago or so. And this was before it was very popular. It wasn't a juice you know, store right. on every corner. I was studying anti-cancer from a natural perspective. So I was looking into the Gerson Institute, and I was looking to a lot of places. And what they did was they did like five or six juices per day, and mm-hmm. they were helping people super saturate their body with antioxidants and the whole food nutrition that come from plants. Now, when we're, we live in a keto world right now, you know, so if people are getting away from all the benefits of these plants. That's what they're missing. A keto diet is not meant to prevent cancer. It can help with certain cancer-based tumors. What prevents cancer is a high antioxidant, high plant-based diet. It's one of the only things that have been shown to really work on those anti-cancer-based effects and anti-aging, such as the blue zones, these types of things. So right. that's how I got into it. And then I, I watched, also watched the documentary Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, which you know, it like goes into the transformation that one man made, Joel Can or Joel Calm. I, I forget his name exactly. But we'll link up the documentaries as well that I think are just really motivating. Give I, me the overall benefits, though, of, well, the benefits, and then give me some of the success stories of people that are having that shop at the Weekly Juicery. Yeah, I, I think one of the, the like the Gerson Institute and the work they do with sort of the juicing for therapy and to help heal people is there's really two things. One, if you're going to use juice in that capacity, you think about it like your body can have some rest period, right? The juice is so easy for the body to take in. The insoluble fiber is removed during the juice extraction process. So you're thinking about, I always think about it just like an IV of great stuff coming into my body, right? Because it doesn't have to work. You can give yourself and your body some digestive rest. I think about, and I've talked to our customers about, imagine, imagine putting your letting your body put its feet up. It's getting a break after years and years of eating too much food, the wrong foods, the wrong combinations, a day of giving your body a break supported with juice that is so easy to digest and you can just be on vacation. I love juice also for this reason. And I think it's something that a lot of people don't talk about. It really makes my mind more clear I have more energy because my body is not constantly working to digest, right? It's it's on vacation. I have such a clear mind when I'm nourishing my body with those dark leafy greens, beets, and carrots. It's amazing. Not only do I feel better, but my mind is super clear. I don't know if that happens to you. Yeah, absolutely. I feel the same exact way. It's it's a way that I'm actually, what I feel is like supercharging my cells with yeah. liquid nutrition without having to get all the sugar in. Now, even plants have a little bit of glucose, of course, but it's minimal. But here's the thing. Your body soaks that up. It, your liver uses it. Your cells use it. It's not like you're going to add body fat. Like That's not it at all. You will add body fat. I never badmouth other companies, but you will put on body fat if you do these types of juice cleanses that contain 20, 30 grams of sugar per serving. And a lot of times when you look in the back of the bottle, it says that's, there's two servings in there. So now you're like, oh, okay, well, there's 21 grams of sugar. That's not too bad. No, it's 42 because you get two servings of that. So it's really important to understand that the reason why I invited Kimmy on is that she's creating juices that are raw. They're cold pressed. So they preserve the natural goodness in the fruits and vegetables, or I keep saying fruits and vegetables, but vegetables, but also that we're not getting the high sugar content. So we're getting the best of the best. We're basically taking vegetables that we can't consume at mass quantities, but we want to because we want the liquid nutrition from that, and we're putting that into our body. And I always just say, meaning like, so we have a greens powder that we use for the people who can't maybe juice daily, and I always just say like, how much better would you feel if you put 22 organic fruits and vegetables in your body? Like, of course, you're going to feel better. Like, there's no, it's not even, you can't even think about it. And for you, if you're getting two pounds of raw produce per juice, well, how much better would you feel if you ate two pounds of raw produce? You feel exactly. great. And you're, exactly. you're, you're only missing out on the cellulose. You're only missing out on the fiber. Now, is the fiber great? Yes, but it's even greater when you're taking in fruit because the fiber then slows the glucose and fructose from the fruit. When you're getting vegetables in, it's not like you're never going to eat vegetables again. You are, but adding the, the nutrients from the juice allows for easier absorption and a lot of people don't chew their food. And if you don't chew your food, you can't unlock the cells inside the plants to actually extract the nutrition. Juicing does that for you. 
Yes, I had a teacher once talk to me about green juice, specifically green lemonade. And she talked to me about it in the context that it's liquid sunshine. And actually, it feels that way to me. And I don't know if you've had that experience with really high quality, very potent, dark green juice like green lemonade. You do feel like you are drinking liquid sunshine, the chlorophyll, the energy from the plant. You can feel that. And and I think your body can use it so efficiently in head to toe. Agreed. And I think a lot of people actually feel it so much more in the beginning that they do kind of start to get hooked because you actually feel a clearer head, meaning like it it energizes your brain. A lot of people think like, oh, well, you know, if I do keto, if I do that, I'm going to have this clearer thinking. Not really. No, you're doing that as a consequence of eliminating other things in your life that actually gives you the clearer thinking. But with juicing, your brain actually gets some of those nutrients and the glucose that it needs to fire properly. So I completely agree. Now, over time, it just becomes your new normal. Like that's it what does. I tell people, like that's my normal now because it's, I'm used to doing it. But I actually, you know, if I'll be away, like, I'll tell you, when I travel, and I travel quite a bit, I travel probably once a month for work, for speaking, for whatever, I actually seek out juice places. And I do right. that because if I'm going to speak, if I'm going to keep my immune system healthy, what I need to do is I need to fortify that with what nature gave us. Like this isn't a mystery. We're not trying to figure it out. Nature gave us fruits and vegetables. They gave us produce. They gave us plants. That should be at least two-thirds of our diet. And I just feel adding in a little bit of juice makes us healthier. Now, I typically grab my juice mid-afternoon. I do my my blend in the morning that I talked about, my smoothie. So I'm getting that. But then what I like to do is either pre-workout or post-workout. I just fire it down. For me, it doesn't fill me up. So it's not like I need to worry about that. I can still have my meal or my smoothie afterwards. But what I'm doing is I'm getting the water because there's most plants and most vegetables are 80 plus percent water, right? So it's an easy way to hydrate your body naturally, but now I'm getting the electrolytes with it and the vitamins and minerals. That's when I like to do it. It definitely gives me a boost either mid morning or mid afternoon. It's a great low calorie, highly nutritious snack. Yes, that uh, I actually do reverse. I have juice first and then I do a green smoothie. But I'll tell you, I love beet juice in the afternoon. That's a time where just naturally my energy tends to go down. And if I have beet juice, I feel like I could run a marathon. And I love it around 3.30 or 4 in the afternoon. It is a wonderful sort of reset for my day. It's almost like starting the day again. I actually feel that way once I have beet juice. I just I love it. Agreed. And from a medical standpoint, it's because beets contain something called nitric oxide. And because of that, it actually saturates your blood with more oxygen. So yes, it's going to help with mental thinking. It's going to help with circulation. Great pre-workout as well. Great for endurance athletes. Yes. And you know, all the people uh, early on in the weekly juicery days, this is back in 2012. And, and you know, you were sort of into it at that time too. There was not a juice bar in every corner. And so when we opened our first location I pretty much had to talk my friends into coming here and drinking my green concoctions, right? And I can't tell you how many of them, you know, it becomes their favorite almost instantly. Even as I talked about, I'll work with the most skeptical of customers. They come in, they really don't have a taste for vegetables. They don't have a lot of produce in their diet. And when they first taste green lemonade or they first taste one of the beet juices, it's a little bit of a shock. It definitely is something they're not used to. And I mean, I love it when I see them a few weeks later and they're buying green lemonade and talking about how wonderful they feel and they don't want to go without it. It's really a beautiful transformation that they don't, they're not reaching for sugary processed snacks and now they're eating more apples and eating more celery and carrots. And so it works. I've never seen someone, if you give it a few tries, not learn to love it. Absolutely. And I like that you mentioned, it sometimes just takes a few tries. That's it. And like, Here's the thing. Everything we do in our life does not have to please our taste buds at first. You know, it's, it's a good thing to think about that. Sometimes you do things in life to make you healthy, to make you feel better overall. And if you're looking to transform your body and lose weight, to do that as well. One big thing that I talk about too is that with kids, they don't eat as many vegetables. It takes just getting them to try a bite six times, seven times, eight times. Right. And that's why with my girls every morning, we're making a smoothie and we're giving them juices. We're giving them to try and they just have a little, they have a little shot class. That's it. And then I put their extra little medicine or whatever they need in it, their supplements and they're feeling good. And like, it's helping them to obviously perform, meaning like, and they're young. So energy at school, being able to pay attention, those types of things. 
And my daughter, and, and I want you to correct me, I don't know the names of all of them, but we get something that has blue magic in it. It's this beautiful blue drink. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, she loves that drink. And so I had to add it now to my, to my weekly uh, recipe, yeah. which she's getting now. But tell me, is that one the inflammation tonic? Which one is that one? It is. It's the inflammation tonic. And, you know, it has blue magic from E3 Lab, just a spirulina. And it, it gives it this this beautiful blue color, which is weird. You think, gosh, this is just this beautiful blue color. And actually, when we put it in, it, it almost just explodes. It's just really a beautiful thing to watch. It That juice has unpasteurized coconut water is the base, which is wonderful for your body head to toe. And most people say, interestingly enough, oh, I don't like coconut water. I hear that a lot. And it's because most of the coconut water, nearly all, available to be purchased from a grocery has been has been treated with pressure or with pasteurization. And it makes it a little syrupy sweet. It doesn't taste the same at all. If it's coconut water straight from the coconut, it has a beautiful, it's not a syrupy sweet taste. And mixed with the Blue Magic, a little bit of lemon, a splash of orange, and there you have it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, and it's one of those things which is hilarious too because... I do remember um, drinking coconut water, having some many years ago, and then going to India and drinking coconut water out of at the side of the road. Like, we're just driving down these dirt roads, and they just chop off the coconut, and you're just drinking from the coconut water, and it tastes completely different. It really does. So there isn't that processing. It's not like sour. It's, it's just different. But, you know, one thing is, too, is like, think about it. You're probably not going to eat algae, Right. But right. you will if you're drinking the juice, meaning because you, you know, the textures get to people a lot. So this is an easy way to get in like kill and, and those types of things. So I always say, try to juice the things that you would never eat. If you're not going to eat cabbage, juice a little bit. You know, you don't have to do a lot. You might do two ounces of cabbage juice, two ounces of beet, because those things aren't meant to be juiced at a large, large amount, like 12 ounces. You're not going right. to drink 12 ounces of cabbage juice, and you're not going to drink 12 ounces of beet, nor probably should you. That's part of a juice mixture. Now, you're going to get all of the benefits of that. So, I mean, really, I, I love starting my kids young with these specific types of things. And then as a role model, meaning if you're drinking it, and I'm not saying, hey, like I am offering to my girls, but they're seeing me drinking it. So they're like, oh, can I have a taste? And, and then they like, oh, at first they might say, I don't really like it. And then they ask yeah. for more and then they try it. And, you know, it's, they get used to it. Yes, I, I agree. My children also are really into this work. And I think it's because, you know, they've been doing it for so long. And if we're on vacation somewhere. I'll give this example. If we're on vacation somewhere as a family, you don't always have access to the healthiest food if you're on vacation, especially if you're out of the country. And, and almost always one or more of my children will say, mom, I can't wait to get back home so that we can have juice and smoothies and eat healthy. Almost always one of them will tell me that when we're on our way back, they can't wait to get back. I think it's great. I really do. Now, one thing that I would like to do is I'm going to be, this is actually going to be my first time doing this. So I'm pretty excited about it. I want to share with people, this is something that you've been doing for a little while now. You do it on a monthly basis with your community, which mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure of being able to speak to you before, but you do what's called the juice ritual. And so that's essentially one day I believe it's the first Thursday of every month. The whole community gets together, and it's one day of, I believe, is it five juices that they get? Six. Six. They get six, six which is great. <laughs> so essentially for the entire day, you're drinking these six different juices. So you get to try six different ones, and you get to end the day with, I believe, what's called the nutty date. Is that true? Yes. All right. Yes. So that's it's my wife's favorite. <laughs> yeah, she absolutely loves that. So you're drinking these juices like... The green lemonade and the debos, I believe, and the debos and the inflammation tonic, all these great ones that you're, you're having. And you're doing that for an entire day to get all the benefits of essentially not having to really turn on the digestive system, the anti-inflammatory benefits, not having to think about food, just kind of focusing on a day of self-improvement. Can you give us a little bit of insight into this? Yes, you're exactly right. We started a community in November called the Juice Ritual Mastermind. And it's we started because I felt like people needed a support system and a community to really be elevated in this work. Not everybody's comfortable just sort of taking out and, and starting to drink juice, right, for a whole day. So my idea was if I could have really create a movement around juice and how powerful and good it can make you feel when you have one day of digestive rest, one day to ritualize something very, very healthy for your body with a community of people. So yes, we started in November. We do it the first Thursday of every month. The juices come right to your door. And I'll honestly say, 
generally speaking, when you're part of a community, there's generally just one or two people that show up, maybe not the nicest. This community of people, I cannot tell you how generous they are. They give more than they are seeking. And so we elevate each other. We do the juice ritual all together. We drink the juices. We show pictures. We have a talk every Thursday that during the juice ritual on a particular health topic, something that you may may or may not know, another way to chase good health. So we're all about trying to look our best, feel our best, do our best. And it has been really powerful. We're getting ready to do it next week. And I'm super excited about it. Yeah, I I am too. And that's the thing is I'm always looking to spread the message about how you can achieve great health in so many different aspects of your life. You know, this, this might not be the right fit for everyone. What I would say is this, always keep an open mind. You don't know how you're going to feel by the end of that day and the next day until you actually try it. I've never done it myself. Now, have I done juicing before? Yes, of course. Have I done a couple of days of just juice or just water? Yes. But this right here, this is different. The juice ritual is set up in a way that you're not getting the fruit in, in the same exact right. way. You're not getting right. those glycemic spikes. And I actually love the recipes that you've created. So I'm really looking forward to it. Again, like I've been a customer for a while now. I love seeing that my juice show up my, on my doorstep. I believe it's every Wednesday. And what I'd like to do is make sure that everyone who's interested does get in by, I believe it's Sunday at 8 p.m., right? February 25th? Correct, yes. And that means that they'll get theirs delivered on what day? Wednesday? Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on how far away you live from our kitchen. But yes, Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, great. And so then all of us in the community who will be doing this will then all begin together on Thursday morning and we'll drink our juices Now, really, we'll drink them every two and a half hours or so, I would say. And that's going to get us through the whole day. So breakfast, mid-afternoon snack, lunch, mid-afternoon snack again, dinner, and then a before the bed, enjoy that nutty date. You can even warm it up, right? Like you could warm up your nutty date. Yes, yes. That it, it feels really nice. You know, you don't have to bring it to boiling or anything, but just right. put a little on the stove, warm it up a little. It is the most wonderful treat at the end of the day. And I wish you guys could see all the feedback we get the day after the juice ritual inside of our mastermind group. People say, oh, it should be illegal to feel this good. I didn't think I could do it. And I feel so good today. So I love seeing all of that feedback. It, it is really something else. Now I'm excited. I'm going to actually link up your mastermind group as well. Anybody okay. who participates participates in this juice ritual will be able to join, obviously, from our community. Uh, yes. every, what, so the link, I'm going to put all the details here. Go to cabraljuiceritual.com. Cabral, just my last name, juiceritual.com. We're going to put all the details there, basically how to get started. And what I would love you to do, I want you to join me on this specific one we're all going to do on March 1st, this coming Thursday. Super simple. You can bring these to work. You can keep them at home. Um, Kimmy even delivers a juice bag with you. So you can just keep all the juices with a cold pack throughout the day. So super simple. I mean, you can literally travel with them. That's the great part about it. Meaning like it just takes your brain out of it for the day. You don't have to purchase any food. So you're going to save money on not purchasing food. But really just focus on a day of self-improvement, a day of health. Maybe you could even get a massage that day. You could do something great for yourself. I just think that that would be amazing. And I want to hear your feedback too. Again, super excited. Kimmy, thank you so much for joining us today. I want everyone to check out the Cabral or just go to cabraljuiceritual.com. Find out more about all of us doing this this coming Thursday. Anything else? Any parting tips you could give us? Give juice a try. You will be amazed at the transformation that it makes for your mind, your body, your spirit. Give it a try. You will absolutely learn to love it. Don't quit on it. Give it a try and stick with it. Yeah, it, it really is one of those things that's that powerful that when you unlock the nutrition, that's really in, in what we were given, which is produce basically on this earth to really live off of. It can be life-changing, and it nourishes the body even for those with weak digestive systems. So thank you so much for everyone for tuning in. I look forward to hopefully speaking with you in just, oh, it's going to be about two weeks. So on March 1st, uh, try to get in by February 25th by 8 p.m. Eastern, and I look forward to hearing your feedback and hopefully success stories soon. Thank you, Kimmy, so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. As always, thank you so much for tuning into the Cabral Concept. Your support means the world to me. That's why this month I want to give away my brand new full spectrum vitamin C supplement. 
This is a product I've been using in my practice now for close to five years, but has just debuted on our online store. It combines the absolute best of functional medicine nutrition with natural food-based ingredients, including a cerulaberry, quercetin, and hibiscus, which are world-renowned anti-inflammatory and anti-aging antioxidants. They literally squelch free radical and oxidative damage in the body while repairing your hair, skin, nails, and muscle tissue. Plus, my new formula also contains a compound, hesperidin, in orange peels that protects the cardiovascular system and brain. And if that wasn't enough, I added another plant compound called rutin, which is backed up by science to decrease coronary heart disease, cancers, and inflammatory bowel disease. I could go on and on about the importance of vitamin C for the adrenals, heart, balancing inflammation in the body and brain, and so much more, but I'd rather you experience this product for yourself. So, for the first 100 orders over $99 in February 2018, I'm going to automatically add a free bottle on me to your order. This is a product I use every day myself, and I want you to enjoy the same benefits as well. There's a limit of one per person while supplies last. Thank you again for tuning into the Cabral Concept. And to be one of the first 100, simply go to stephencabral.com forward slash store to get your free bottle of my full spectrum vitamin C. Thank you.